Until I first met you, I was lonesome. And when you came in sight, dear, my heart grew light. And this whole world seemed new to me. The draft. You're really swell. I have to admit you deserve expressions that really fit you. And so I've racked my brain, hoping to explain all the things that you do to me. Shane means that you're grand. If I mean Mr. Shane, again I'll explain. It means you're the fairest in the land. I could say Bella, Bella, even say Wunderbar. Each language only helps me tell you how grand you are. I've tried to explain by me, Mr. Shane. So kiss me and say you'll understand. Bell Shane, a boy, is hab and join your vault. Nemen mir und fancy. Alle ois kechliben, al bich no dear. I've tried to explain by me, Mr. Shane. So kiss me and say that you will understand. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Maxine Andrews, I sing, and this evening I want you all to sit back, relax, enjoy yourself, and then come along with me because I hear music when I look at you. A beautiful theme of every dream. here who know that um, there was an era called the 1940s. Well, before the 1940s, there was an era called the 1930s. And in the early 1930s, the Andrew... Happy and you... Lady, excuse me, I don't know how to tell you this, but you know, now's the time you gotta get off the bus. It's the end of the line, you know, the last stop, we're here. Where? I've been telling you all along, ho hocus, ho hocus, ho hocus. Ho -hocus. Ho -hocus. Yeah. And Jay. Uh, nice Thank you. It's the best bus ride I've had. I'll wager that. Just about every little girl and every little boy dreams that one day when they grow up, they're gonna be in the movies. Well, my sisters and I weren't any different when we were young. I remember when we used to sit there and go through all of those movie magazines and look at all of those beautiful people and we had our dreams. And then one day we grew up and someone said, hey kids, you're going to Hollywood to make your own pictures. And were we happy what a dream to come true. Well, the studio that signed us called and said, girls, when you come to Hollywood, you're gonna get the best of everything. Why, when you get there, we're gonna roll out the red rug for you. Maxine, they don't roll out the red rug. They roll out the red carpet. Oh, no, Phil, this was universal. They rolled out the red rug. <laughs> <laughs> and they said, when you come to Hollywood, the sky is the limit. You're gonna have the best wardrobe, you'll have the best scripts, the best director. Why, we're even giving you the best makeup man. Let me tell you about the makeup man. His job was to transform the three Andrews sisters into three Hollywood beauties. 
And then came the day that we had to report to the studio. And I walked into the makeup department, and sitting there in front of me were the two latest beauties that he had transformed. One was the wolf man, the other was Frankenstein. Steen, Stein. Don't think I wasn't worried. But I kept holding on to my dream because I wanted to make a picture with Clark Gable, Tyrone Power, Errol Flynn, and who did we get? The Ritz brothers, Nabbitt and Costello. <laughs> but we also got the opportunity to introduce and sing some wonderful songs. This next song, we did in a picture called um, Hollywood Canteen. And um, we did that picture for Warner Brothers. Now, I think there might be a few of you here this evening who might remember some of the lyrics. So why don't you be my glee club? Sit back, clear your throats, and then sing with gusto. Whatever lyrics you remember. <laughs> I have to get in the mood for this one. Oh, give me land, lots of land under starry skies above. Don't fence me in. Now let me ride through the wide open country that I love. in the evening breeze and listen to the murmur of the cottonwood trees send me off forever but I ask you please don't fence me in just a turn me loose let me straddle my old saddle underneath the western skies ba ba boo ba ba boo ba ba boo on my cayuse. Yeah. <laughs> That's a new lyric. <laughs> I want to ride to the ridge where the west commences and gaze at that moon until I lose my senses. I can't look at hobbles and I can't stand fences. Don't fence me in no. Papa, don't you fence me in the boo. Well, it wasn't too much longer that we moved across San Fernando Valley and we walked into Decca Studios and recorded it with... But Mr. Crosby was his most joyous when we recorded songs like this. You got a accent, latch on to the affirmative. Don't mess with Misty in between. You gotta spread joy up to the maximum. Bring gloom down to the minimum. Have faith, a pandemonium's libel. Don't mess with Misty in between. No, don't mess with Mr. In between. Now, um, listen to me, children, and you will hear about the limiting of the negative and the accent on the positive. Why, Phil, you tell him. Sing it out tight. While we stop you the attitude to do. Will you sing with me? Why not? You got a
a little honky-tonky village in Texas. There's a guy who plays the best piano by far. He can play piano any way that you like it, but the way he plays the best is A to the bar. And when he plays it's a ball, he's a daddy of them all. The people gather around when he gets on the stand. Then when he plays, he gets a hand. The rhythm he plays puts the cats in a trance. Nobody there bothers to dance for when he plays with a bass and guitar. They holler, oh, beat me, daddy, ink to the bar. Rumble-gee, rahumble-gee, woogie. It's Harlem's creation, I'm such a renovation, it's a killer. A killer. So plant your both feet on each side. Let both your hips and shoulders ride. And throw your body back and glide. It's a little of the rumba, the boogie, the woogie. Then put them both all together. It's rum boogie. Rum boogie, rum boogie, woogie. In Harlem or Havana, in Poughkeepsie or Savannah, it's a killer. Rum boogie, a boogie, woogie, woogie, rum boogie. Some skin. All yeah, right. my friend, step right up and take your stand. You don't have to be timid. Stick your hand right out and shout. Hey. Give me some skin. Here. My friend, smack it, whack it. Now let your hand rotate. Show it, blow it, then put it in your pocket for a future day. Hey, step right up step right and take my hand. I like to do it. Like to do it in Harlem, in Harlem. I'll stick my hand right out and shout.
now. Oh, there you are, Edna. How are you, darling? Wonderful. Well, sweetheart, so I, didn't, you? I didn't see you there. I know. The you know me without my, eyes. you know what we always say, without my glasses, I'm blind. You're just the greatest. <laughs> oh, thank you, darling. Better than ever. That's what Phil said. <laughs> <laughs> and he said it just the way I taught him. <laughs> you didn't teach me. Oh, no, I darling, but you've, you, listen, you've taught, uh, this is Edna Fisher. And Edna has been a friend of mine for years. <laughs> She has taught so many wonderful people that have become stars, and, um, well, she's going to continue teaching. And I'm going to come over to your house this week if the rain doesn't get me. I'll come now, again. Would you, darling? Okay, we can swim together, right? I, you know what I've been doing? I've been waiting around for that terrific storm that they say is coming. <laughs> it's been... Two and a half days now, I've been sitting here waiting for that terrific storm that they say it's going to come with 50 mile an hour winds, and I'm sitting at the window looking up at the sky saying, when? <laughs> Would you like to hear some of the old songs? Yeah. Would you? <laughs> Enough of my foolishness. He wants some seafood, Mama. Shrimpers and rice, they're very nice. Yip -a -doo -a -doo yip. Take a back of your samba, ay your rumba, ay your conga, ay ay ay. I can't keep moving, ay my chassis, ay any longer, ay ay ay. Now maybe Latins, ay in their middles, ay are built stronger, ay ay ay. Well, all this taken to the quaking and this making with the shaking leaves me aching. Ole, South America, take it away. A drinking beer in a cabaret, and I was having fun. And then one night it caught me right, and now I'm on the run. Oh, lay that pistol down, babe. Lay that pistol. You can sing if you want. Pistol packing, mama. I lay the thing down before it goes off and hurts somebody. Don't sit under the apple tree with anyone else but me. Anyone else but me. Anyone else but me. No, no, no. I don't sit under the apple tree with anyone else but me till I come marching home. And don't go walking down Lover's Lane with anyone. to a T. So don't go walking down Lover's Lane with anyone else but me till I come marching home. You're such a jolly crowd. This next... Um, this next song really needs an introduction. And so um, I usually sing it, but because you are a jolly crowd this evening, I think I'll dance it. <laughs> I think I'll dance it. <laughs> now, um, You'll have to have a little patience with me, though, because it's, it's a dance that, that Phil taught me, and um, I've had a hard time learning. The step is really quite intricate, so a little patience, patience, okay? That's it. 
If you ever go down Trinidad, they make you feel so very glad. Calypso sing and make a rhyme, I guarantee you one real good fine time. Drinking rum and Coca-Cola. Go down Point Kumana, both mother and daughter are working for the Yankee Dollar. Out on Manzanella Beach, GI romance with native peach. All night long make tropic love the next day, sit in hot sun and cool off a drinking rum and Coca-Cola. Now go down Point Kumana, both mother and daughter are working for down there, but I'm not sure I can get back up. Don't you dare help me. <laughs> I, 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 did I embarrass you? I'm sorry, darling. Would you like to go ahead? No, okay, you got it coming. <laughs> I bought a dog in Trinidad, the best darn dog I ever had. He was smart like real quiz kid, saw a sign said wet paint. So he did drink and rum and coke. Is that too racy for you? Okay.
sun shines on today what a wonderful wedding there will be what a wonderful day for you and me church bells will chime Did you meet Edna Fisher? No, I didn't have the pleasure. This is all about meeting you. And this is a very, this is a very dear friend of ours, Doug. This is Edna. Nice to meet you, Doug. And um, what else do you say? <laughs> Mine be Mr. Shane. Oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> That's a nice compliment. I think you're wonderful. Yeah. So, darling, I'm going to come over one day this week. Good. All right. Good. Because it's my last week now, and I so know. I have to. Um, I have to uh, come over and see you. Okay? I know. You better. Feel very badly if you don't. No, 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 I won't understand. <laughs> no. Well, you're all wonderful, and, and, and I love your new numbers tonight. Did you enjoy them? That hello, young lovers. Good. Oh, we forgot a number. <laughs> Phil, we forgot a number tonight. We forgot um, Jerry Herman's. We forgot Jerry Herman's tune tonight. Done it once. Oh, well, we could have done it tonight, would have been twice. Uh, it was great. I do oh, want thank you. Thank you. Good to see you again. <laughs> oh, I, I really did. I embarrassed you. Oh, not at all. Good. 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 You're welcome. I'll bring mom back next week. I'm do that. Good. She'd love it. Wonderful. Yeah. Do that. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed the show. Thanks a lot. Okay. <laughs> I've got a wonderful picture of you from what? A, a magazine you've never heard of.
called Middle of the Road. Have you ever heard of it? No. Well, I saw it. I was, we have a whole stack of them at the office, and I was bored. I was going through magazines, and there you were in this beautiful green gown. Middle of the Road? Yeah, it was an article on the resurgence of the jazz era. I don't know how you got it, but you were the only full-color picture that there was. Well, oh, that let home. me think that I'm, I'm <laughs> hip enough to be jazz, okay? But, but you what are. do you mean you don't know how she got it? <laughs> <laughs> it was Middle of the Road. I mean, I couldn't understand it. But I've got it home. I meant to bring it. I'll give it a fill tomorrow. We're going to have dinner. Please, oh, why, why don't you wait until we come over to the candy factory? <laughs> yeah, the shipment hasn't come in yet. Oh, it hasn't? Maybe, oh. maybe. Tuesday at the latest. Okay. Well, just just let me know. I've got to I've got to go over and see. Do you know that they're they're selling candy for forty seven dollars a pound. Thirty seven. Thirty seven. Thirty seven. Moreau chocolate. Moreau chocolate. What's it called? Moreau. Moreau. Switch one. Charlotte. Who has it? Who has 